today is going to be a pretty productive day it's tuesday and i have a lot to do in my pipeline yesterday was monday and i did a couple of things and uh, finished majorly on the human app mac app which i'm working on and also refined the plan which i have for the whole week which i made on sunday so it's almost 12 pm now i just came out from like i have completed a couple of major tasks one is like workout is done meditation is done and now i'm going to sit on my session so right now i'm just making my second cup of coffee which i generally avoid but today is my water fast i just take coffee and i was not feeling very concentrated while i was working so i thought let's make a coffee and i'll show you my the whole complete recipe of making a coffee Okay, so here is the coffee. It already smells so good. Let me just try it and I already know how the taste will be because well, I followed the exact same recipe which I have been following for the last couple of years. Wow. Okay, so we are talking about like today's tasks. So, I have a major task. I have to deploy that remotion download feature. So what we have like we have a player which plays this video but technically that is not a video that is like composition of multiple element layers which are playing along with each other which looks like a video but it's not and now what we have given is a feature for pro users that they can download these videos so you can click on the download button and then we want them to basically get that video link locally in the system in an mp4 format for that we have to deploy a server code which takes our composition renders it on the back end and gives you the mp4 link which is then stored in an s3 bucket in aws and then you can download it so it's a very long process uh, i have done it like few months back on a very small project for like for myself as testing but today I, that's the main core project which i have to work on so i'll be just sitting there uh, doing that okay so while i was working on this project i found out like even llama 3 which is by meta is now available on replicate so I'll do one comparison like I I have Cloud 3 Opus, I have ChatGPT 4, I have Raycast AI which is again using ChatGPT 4 and now I have Llama 3. So I'll ask all four of them to prepare a plan for this feature and I'll see and rate the output for all four. I think that would be a fun experiment to do and I'll decide how good this Llama 3 is. Okay, so we have Cloud open here. and we have chat gpt open here now let's ask and even we have uh, the raycast which is here right and i'll just say new chat so first of all uh, generally like this is raycast ai is the number one thing which i generally use uh, when asking ai any coding related problem so this is what i have written like i am running remotion in my next js app which is running using a composition with multiple elements now i have added a download button in the web app and want the user to download the video which needs it to be rendered on the server i want to host a lambda which can do this help with complete instructions to achieve this so i have given a very basic instruction i already know what to do but i want to see what are the steps which these ais can prepare for me and which one is giving the best results so let's ask uh, with raycast here i'll use the same thing uh, meanwhile like raycast is working i'll ask the same question with uh, meta's llama 370b uh, 70 billion version and so maximum token i could say 2048 right 512 might be very less so temperature i want like 4 i do not want it to hallucinate a lot so less rest of the things i'll just keep as as it is okay it's running very fast like i just clicked on run and it just started replying so quickly uh, so already like the speed is fast and well technically the speed depends on the gpu which replicate has given it to llama 3 so maybe that's what helping here and let's go to cloud uh, which is using cloud 3 opus we'll ask the same thing with cloud as you can see it's taking a bit more time compared to llama 3 and even the output is becoming slower and now the og chat gpt4 started working really fast okay so after reading all the outputs from four 
LLMs which I just used. I found Claude 3 and uh, ChatGPT OG 4 were like pretty close to answering to someone who has never done this before uh, because they have broken down into multiple steps. They are giving more information what to do. And even I feel I haven't tried running the code, but the code seems to be much more accurate. Uh, for example, in Claude 3, I found out they have given like instead of putting the keys directly in the code, they have given you have to put it in environment variable. Uh, so use those. So maybe like taking care of the security and the quality of the code, which it's producing. So yeah, this has been like my previous assessment as well. Generally, Claude 3 works really well. Claude 3 opus in mostly in like programming work. And Llama 3 gave a long example, long answer, uh, but I'm not very satisfied with the output. So yeah, we'll again test it again next time. But right now I'll go with Claude 3 for rest of my queries. I'll just continue the conversation on Claude 3. So yeah, let's just sit for the next one hour, uh, finish up uh, the backend remotion, I'll deploy it. And in the next session after that, maybe in the evening, I'll put the code integration on the next like our web app so that's the task for the day uh, let me just go get into it so while checking the efficiency of llama 3 i also found out like llama 3 has released two versions as open source one of them is with 8 billion parameters and another is with 70b parameters so the 70b version which is what I tested with and I was checking the 8B one which is again very powerful and I have checked a couple of reviews from other people and they are comparing it with like chat GPT 3.5 or even 4th previous version like GPT 4's previous version which is just 8B parameters and it can run locally on my machine. So my task like next week maybe I'll try to run it on Ola Mac which is a Mac OS app and I'll try to run like Llama 3 on my local machine and we'll see the output. So that would mean that I can run almost 3.5, GPT 3.5 locally on my machine without internet. So everything remains on my system. Again, super exciting stuff and it's great that Meta is releasing such huge models open source like for anyone to use. And uh, another thing I saw like someone has already increased its context window so why i like Claude 3 is because of the like 100000 token limit so you can give like the whole book and ask start asking questions which is currently not possible with llama 3 but because it's open source people are like again forking it making it possible to put that kind of context window and i found like some guy it's been released like i think it's been two weeks or one week since it's released open source and some guy has already created a context window of 16000 so now you can send 16,000 tokens or like do a transaction of 16,000 tokens, which again mean a, a lot. So I think GPT-4 can only support 8,000 tokens right now. And someone has also started running it in Grok. So Grok runs it like, it's crazy speed. So I mean like Llama 3 is going to outperform a lot of big models. Claude and OpenAI are at it's very tough market people like it's almost going to be free in couple of days i've also heard like apple is working on like a local llm which they can run on an iphone maybe in the next versions super hyped super hyped with all this having an llm running locally on your mobile or such devices it's going to be the future but it's coming so fast that i never thought of So I think I'll just finish off my work now. It's already 5.30. I'm feeling a lot more hungry by now. And I've just had lemonade uh, with just lemon and water and just water because it's a water fast. I had two cup of black coffee. That's it. Since like last thing I ate was last night at around 9 p.m. So yeah, I'll, I'll now go out uh, just to refresh my mind and maybe walk around the beach and then I'll come back home. We have already prepared our dinner. So we'll have dinner at around 6, 6.30 and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day today. A lot has been done. Uh, I have finished uh, hosting that remotion links online. So that is working fine. 
and the AWS like you have to do a lot of configuration when you want to host these things you have to create policies you have to create users all of that has been done now the only thing remaining is integrating it with the front end so I have the server URL I have the APIs which are able to render any composition I pass them to so now I'll just get that API URL I'll host, link it to the front end app and then it will be able to download those Another thing which I have to work on tomorrow, I'm taking it as like tomorrow could be a big day because I have two major tasks. One is the integration. Second is showing user how much of the progress of that downloading is happening. For example, like how much the render has happened and I have to keep those links locally on the server. So on the on the database so they can they do not have to render it every time they can just download any video which is downloaded. But there is a catch. If the user edits the video, then we have to render it again. I'll have to talk to the team about it. Maybe we do not allow so many downloads uh, on edited videos. Let's see. Let's see. So yeah, uh, I think I'll just call it a day today. Uh, not going to make huge video about it. I'll just wrap this video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be making another video soon about my progress, what I'm going to do and the next video I'm planning to make around my AI note taking app because I have made a couple of progress there I want to like document it as well and this week I had set the idea like onboarding has to be finished anyhow so I'll work on it I'll make a quick video about that as well so yeah accountability is going great and see you again in the next video